everybody welcome here to another edition of my 40k videos this time we're talking about astra militarum or imperial guards regimental specialists <clears throat> i finally got through reading most of this codex in depth i also like to read the fluff that's the only thing that i haven't done so far but i can tell you of all the things I've read in this codex, there are two things that I believe which are going to be the most influential in building a new Imperial Guard or Astra Militarum army. And that is regimental specialists and regimental advisors. Watch this video a year from now. Make sure it's true because I think these guys are it. Now, I'm going to start with regimental specialists today in this video and I'm hoping going to get through them. Uh, in about the next five or six minutes. If not, then it'll be two videos. But there are basically four regimental specialists. Really only three because, uh, but basically four. One is the um, Ministorum Priestess, or Priest if you prefer that. I call them Priestess. I know these guys backwards and forwards because I play Sisters of Battle. And I'm telling you, you're going to love these girls. The Regimental Priestess. <clears throat> has an ability called war hymns and there's three of them one of them is emperor protects which allows the ministorum priestess and her unit to re-roll all failed armor and invulnerable saves until the end of the phase the next is emperor strength which until the end of the phase, the Ministorum Priest has the smash special rule. And finally, there's Righteousness of the Emperor. This allows the unit that the Priestess is attached to to re-roll all failed to wounds until the end of the phase. Uh, this is all done with a standard leadership check. Uh, the, the, the priestess has a leadership of seven, but there are many things out there that allow you to make leadership checks based upon the command squad or people around there like that. So you're probably going to be getting nines and tens on this. Now you sit there and say that's probably not too exciting, but it is because, and let me read the rule to you specifically. <clears throat> the Ministorum Priestess can take a leadership test at the beginning of each Fight subphase, subphase, on which he is locked in combat. If the test is successfully passed, then you go on to one of the three hymns that I mentioned. So that's each subphase. So that means if you want to do the Emperor Protects, okay, reroll all failed armor and all invulnerable saves in a shooting subphase, you can then go on. To do righteousness of the emperor and re-roll all wounds after a successful check in the hand hand or melee subphase. You can even do things in the movement phase. I believe no, oh, it's a fight subphase. Okay, so it's, it's probably going to be ranged and shooting. I, so that's twice a turn. And there's no perils of the warp or anything with this. If you fail, you just fail. Double ones, double sixes don't mean anything. And they're not psychic abilities. That's another big thing. They can't. You can't deny the witch or all the other things that affect psychic powers or might affect psychic powers. Makes no difference to these abilities. That's huge. Now you could imagine attaching one of these guys, and I think they're only like 25 points, to about every single unit you can possibly think of. And how cool would that be? Now let's go over their war gear too. As far as their stats, they're just a standard uh, guardsman really, except that they, yeah, they're, let's see, weapon skill 3, ballistic skill 3, strength 3, toughness 3, wounds 1, initiative 3, attacks 2 though. Leadership 7, and they have flak armor for a 5-plus save. But do you know what else they have? Uh, they also, they're an independent character, first of all, so they can attach and detach from units and run around, which is a very useful skill for preparing units who are about to go where you need to get them to go. And they have Zealot. And this is very important, because when they attach a unit and they're a Zealot, that means that unit, what does it get? It basically, it becomes fearless, right 
and it gets preferred enemy, or does it, or it get, no, it gets hatred. The whole unit, uh, and also it comes standard with a Rosarius. You put this all together, and these guys are going to make a huge impact on anybody who wants to build an army focused around them, which I do all the time. I have for you. They're great. Uh, I'm already past the five-minute mark, so I'm probably going to do a whole video on each of the different other advisors, which will be uh, Psychic Psyker Primaris. This is not the same as your normal Imperial Guard Psyker. This is like the Astra Tempestus Psyker, one step up. Finally, Engine Seers and Servitors, which I believe is going to be the mainstay of every tank-based army. So I'm excited about all these things. I'm even going to look forward to doing demonstrations of little tactics that I have suggestions with them. Keep watching, and I hope you enjoy. Bye.